Hey everybody, AdCat here. How you doing? And today we have our unboxing and review and setup of this Crane Smart Air Purifier. Um, I posted another video with my customer service experience with Crane USA since the first one I purchased from Amazon arrived damaged. Um, the two top pieces were broken off. So if you missed all that, you can check out the first video where you can see the broken pieces and my second video discussing how great the Crane USA customer service is. But moving forward, we have the replacement on hand, so we're gonna do the unboxing again, uh, show you what it's all about, the different pieces, how it works, and then give you our review after we've had a little time to use it. So let's get cracking and let's open the box and see inside what it looks like. You already know pretty much all of this, but, I wanted to just unbox it again. This time the foam is undamaged. You're gonna get your instruction manual. They also offer the instruction manual digitally online, so I'm gonna post a link to that in the description in case you were curious about it. So I'm gonna flip this up and pull this straight out of the box. Let's take the foam off. Back. Looks like this is on good this time, which is nice to see. Again, when Crane shipped it to me this time, although they didn't ship it the first time, Amazon did not put it in another box. So they basically shipped it in this box and it was damaged. When Crane shipped me the warranty replacement, they actually had put it in a second box and did a little bit of paper padding on the inside. So there it is, the Crane. Smart Air Purifier. I'm gonna get some close-up shots in a bit. You have your standard AC outlet. And we're gonna gently pull this forward. And I'm gonna take the first cover off so you can get a look. And you'll see here, these are the pieces that broke off. I'm gonna get close-ups to show you this time what they look like, but in the first shipping, they had broken off. So let's open it up and take a look at the filters and see what the filters look like. So before you use it, once you take the front off, you have to unwrap the filters. This has a total of three filters, as I'm gonna show you now. This filter here, the first one is a pre-filter. You're gonna pull these two tabs down and just gently lift it up. This is washable, so you can wash this if it does get dirty, and this is supposed to be made to take out all the larger dust particles that, that it's gonna catch, dust and other large particles. The next filter is the HEPA filter. We're going to take that out, we're going to wrap that in a second, and then you have a carbon filter. Just grab this, and then you have the ionizer piece in the back. Um, so essentially four filter types, ionizer, carbon filter, HEPA filter, and then your larger air particle uh, pre-filter, as they say. Um, they sell these two, this is what you're going to be replacing um, after, I'm not sure, three to six months, depending upon your use. Like I said, the pre-filter can get be washed, but the HEPA filter and the carbon filter, they sell in a kit. I've seen them ranging roughly from about $25 to $32 on Amazon. Um, it's a new item, so I'm assuming that will go down over time, but Amazon does sell the replacement, and I will put the replacement part number if you're interested in the description. Um, so let me unwrap the carbon filter. The first step when you're gonna set it up is you're gonna unwrap the filter before you use it. And it's nice, they actually put tags on it that actually say front, and you can actually a little pull if you have problems. So let me just get a close-up of that so you can see that. And you see there, it says front. So they nicely labeled the filter, so I'm gonna put that back in there. We're gonna open up the HEPA filter. And again, it's nice, they put the same tag on there, which is great. So you know which direction in case you take it out and you're like, uh-oh, which way does this go back in? They also put a front pull um, little tag there, which is great. So that's going to go in. Um, just to describe, a lot of people ask or have asked with the air purifier, essentially there's two types of air purifiers, um, either the ionizer, um, which I showed you, which I'll go over in a few, and then the HEPA filter. The HEPA filter, by de definition, HEPA stands for high efficiency particulate air. Basically, the definition that basically it's going to get anything that's 
0.3 microns or larger. Um, and it's going to get 99.97% of those particles uh, 0.3 microns or larger. And that's by definition what a HEPA filter really means. Um, the carbon filter um, that we put in first is going to actually take, that's really to remove smells and such, um, tobacco, pet odors, um, cooking smells, garbage, if you have left your garbage in, you know, in the garbage for too long, um, and that's what the carbon filter does. The, this is going to get out a lot of those other smaller uh, particles, like I said, the allergies, if you have allergies, dust, mold, um, allergens, uh, pet dander, things of that nature. And then the ionizer, what the ionizer does, which is behind here, it basically passes essentially electrons through it. It neg negatively charges the particles and it makes those particles negatively charged where the filters can capture them um, a lot easier. So when it comes back out the air, it's going to capture those particles a lot easier so, and they'll make them more sticky to things. Um, so then you can dust essentially. Um, so let's get this back in and set up. I like that they put those tags on there so you know which direction. The pre-filter, like I said, which is washable. It's just going to snap right on like that. And then the front piece. And again, I'm going to get a close-up of these pieces and the pieces that broke off. Um, let's just take, there's a sticker on here. If you forget, uh, that sticker's on really good. So we're going to take the sticker off. I hate when they do that, when you try and take a sticker off and it's just... Blackberry the cat has actually turned up for this part of the video. I cleaned off the uh, the sticker. I actually had to use Gooby Gun because the sticker was on. It wasn't coming off, um, and it didn't damage the uh, the finish. Just a little difficult to get off. Um, a couple other features of this I just wanted to mention. We're going to go through setting it up and reviewing it, but I did want to mention again. This is a smart air purifier. So by calling it smart. Um, Crane has Wi-Fi enabled this. They have an app that I've already downloaded and put on my iPhone. Um, and we're going to go through that also later in the video. Um, but you can control this uh, from your Wi-Fi. Um, so if you're away from the house, you can actually see what it's doing. Turn it on, turn it off, and uh, all that good stuff. And again, we're going to run through that. A couple other features. It does have a child lock, so you can actually put it in child lock mode. So if you touch the buttons on the front, uh, your kids can't go up to it and change the settings. It has different multiple fan speeds, uh, three fan speeds, so it's, and it's also got a quiet mode. So again, you can adjust that. You can turn the ionizer on and off. Um, some of the other features, again, the four filters, your pre-filter, your HEPA filter, your carbon filter that's going to take care of the smells, and then the ionizer that's going to clean out the air as well. So let me get it plugged in, set up. I'm going to give you some close-up shots just in case you're interested, and then we're going to go from there. So you can see the view of the top panel, it's actually off. Let me just turn it on. You turn it on by tapping, it's all touch controls. And again, I'm gonna to start to set this up in a minute and go. You can see the Wi-Fi is flashing. Uh, you have your child lock protection here. Um, the timer, we're gonna go through this in depth. I just wanted to give you a close up. Shut it off like that. Gently, carefully take off the top because I did want to show you the pieces that broke off in the last video are actually mounted securely. So it must have taken a pretty big hit in transit because these, even though they're plastic, they are on pretty solid. And again, that's the look of the filters. You're going to pull these down like I showed you already to take it off. And to put this back on, there's no top. So this top lock goes to that piece that was broken off, which was my issue the first time. It snaps right in. There's just a side view of it. I'm going to pan around. You can see the top and the back. Looks like a nicely designed unit, and you can see that space in between that the air is going to go through right in here. It's going to come in the way it's designed, and the filters are going to work that way. So let's get it set up, paired to Wi Fi, and go from there. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of, of the control panel. Um, when you, when you plug it in, the Wi-Fi is flashing. Well, I didn't set that up yet. You have your power button here, and then you have the uh, child lock, uh, which is always on. So I'm going to press it. Just tap the button there, and quickly, this is going to tell you what your air quality is. This is going to tell you your filter quality. This is the, uh, if you set the timer, one, four, eight hours to go off. Auto, which is fan speed. You have those different fan settings as well. 
This is the ionizer. You can turn the ionizer on and off. And to use the child lock, you press and hold for a few seconds. Uh, you know it's red. You notice now with the child lock on, I can't do anything on it. So let me hold that down for a minute till it beeps. And now notice child lock is off and I can make adjustments on this as well. Um, important to note with the filter um, replacement indicator light, it'll actually flash when you need a new filter and it's going to turn red as well. For the air quality indicator, green is going to be excellent. It's going to turn orange if it's just good and it's going to turn red if it's poor. So let's get this paired to Wi-Fi and then go from there. Once you have the app installed either on your Android phone from the Google Play app or on your iPhone from the Apple uh, App Store, you're going to want to go to your Wi-Fi and we're going to have to actually turn Wi-Fi on. So we're going to hold the fan button down for three seconds and you're going to notice there that the Wi-Fi goes from fast blinking to slow and we should see crane appear, um, which we do. So we're going to click on crane on our Wi-Fi and we're going to connect our phone directly to the Wi-Fi of the crane smart air purifier. I'm going to go back in now and relaunch the Crane app. I'm going to click on Devices, and we're going to add new device, and I'm going to click on Start. So it's going to pre-populate your Crane user account, and then you're going to wind up picking your Wi-Fi in your house from the list there and typing in the Wi-Fi password for your home network. Um, I've actually blanked this out just because it does give a unique device ID and also the account information, as I mentioned, pre-populates. Once it's done and you've done all that, you're going to pick the time zone as well. You're going to hit done and the, the Crane Smart Air Purifier is going to restart itself. So just give it a few seconds at that point. Um, the device will shut off. Again, this does work on both um, iOS iPhone devices and Android devices. You can see this is a weird bug that I actually ran into after it installed and it went to restart my crane I actually a ton of devices appeared so I'm not sure if this is a bug with the crane app because the crane app isn't really an app it's a kind of a wireframe with Wi-Fi loading pages um, so at this point I'm going to also restart the crane app and go back in there and see why we're getting these other devices and if they're still there when I'm restarting that could be a problem because these may be other people's devices so we're going to go back in Yep, and now my only only my device is actually there, which is good. So we're going to let the device restart at this point and go from there. There it is. It's shut off. And give it a minute to sync up. And there it turned on. And now I can control the um, smart air purifier from my phone. So again, once you're connected via Wi-Fi and it's set up, whether you're home or out somewhere, as long as you have an internet connection on your phone, basically your cell service, you can connect and do what you need to do on the smart air purifier pretty much from wherever you are. Some of the menu options you see, this is my one issue um, with the smart air purifier is that these are really just web pages loading and they didn't really build a true app as most of us are used to now with what apps really are. Um, some of the things you can control here, you can turn the power on and off air quality, turn the child lock on and off, you can see the allergy levels, you can see the pollution levels, you can see the fan speed. If you set a, um, a timer, you can set the timer time to off. You can start and stop the unit as you can see as well. So if you want it to turn on every day at you know, uh, 6 a.m. and turn it off every day at uh, 11 p.m. you can do that as well just keep in mind when you do set it to do that if the power goes out that setting actually gets erased you can see here I just wanted you to see with allergens I'd opened up the window uh, for a little bit um, here and you can see actually that the allergens went from green to yellow um, you can also turn the ionizer on and off along with the fan speed um, adjustments So for this part of the video, I just wanted to give you an idea of how much noise this actually gives off. Um, and I have the camera about literally a foot away from the uh, Crane Smart Air Purifier. And I'm just going to cycle through the fan speeds. I'm actually using the app um, to change the speeds. So that was high. I'm going to switch it to medium now. 
if you listen this is medium this is low it is really quiet go back to medium that's what the fan sounds like on medium and I'll put it back on high just to give you an idea if you were wondering um, of what the fan sounds like at different speeds Hey everybody, AdCat here. We're going to do the review portion of the Crane Smart Air Purifier, the Wi-Fi, right next to me. I'm laying on the floor because this thing pretty much just sits on the floor. So I wanted just you guys to see it in action. Um, I have mixed reviews and mixed feelings on this. This is the first Crane USA product that I've kind of on the fence about a little bit. Um, it does work well when we cook. Um, the smells are dissipated in the living room. We have a decent sized living room. Um, that's where we leave it. Um, the allergens never really change. I'll open the door just to see, you know, on a day where there's a lot of pollen, um, you know, and the windows are open and stuff. And the app tells you, as the unit detects, um, the allergen levels, pollution, things of that nature. It never really deviates from green, um, which is a little weird. Um, I've also taken aerosol um, and sprayed it in the area to see if it would detect it like a Lysol or something like that to see if it would detect the chemicals. It actually doesn't do that as well. Um, in another Dyson review that I'm actually in process of doing uh, for the Dyson Air Purifier fan, one of the bladeless units, when you actually sp spray aerosols and things, it actually does a really good job of detecting and telling you what's in the air. Same thing for the pollen. It does a lot better job doing that. I have this unit through the app. You can schedule it to shut on. Um, and off on a timer if you want. So I have it go go off at like 11 p.m. and then it comes on in the morning. So by the time we're waking up, the air, you know, has been filtered essentially. Um, it works well. It's quiet. Um, I'm talking next to it. You really can't hear it. It is very quiet um, for an air purifier. I leave it on the auto setting. Um, the main negative or the first negative I find in the device is the app. Like I mentioned in the beginning part of the setup, the app is web-based. So what does that mean? It's not really a real app. They took a web or links to web pages that they have at their website, and basically that's what they dumped into the app. They didn't really build a real app out, um, which is a little disappointing um, with that respect. It does work. The only negative with that is when you pull the plug or the power goes out with the timer, it resets itself. So the unit will come back on, but your scheduling for some reason is uh, erased from the app and I guess the unit, which means that if you had it going off and on the schedule that, that I mentioned to you, it will never shut off or turn on um, based on that schedule. So if it's on, it'll stay on, and if it was off, it would stay off again. Um, but it has worked well. It does do the basics. Am I totally happy with it? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, again, we've been running this for a little over a month now. Um, I did have that initial customer service issue where the front piece, um, if you look at the other videos, was broken off. It's a good quality unit. It's held up well. It does have a, an alert on the top panel here, which you can see, um, which tells you if the filters need to be replaced, and I haven't actually had to replace the filters. Um, the filters are rather inexpensive. Um, about $19 on Amazon gives you the whole set, the carbon filter, uh, the HEPA filter. Um, so it's actually very reasonable. If you compare that to the cost of the filters to replace, if you have the Dyson bladeless air purifier, those are like $70 or $80 um, each to replace. And they recommend doing that like four times a year, which is pretty crazy. Um, that's expensive. Um, but again, this isn't really a fan. That does is a fan as well. Um, so this is just purely a HEPA air purifier. So I have mixed reviews on it. Um, would I recommend it highly? It really depends upon your needs and the area that you're going to use. Um, so again, yes and no, depending. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.